folks, Austin Manning out here at Johnson RV, your home for premium pre-owned motorhomes. Today we're actually going to look at something that's brand spanking new. This is a 2018 from Winnebago. This is their Intent model. It's a gas class A and this one is the 30R Intent trim. Uh, tip to tail, this coach is measure in right at 30 feet and 10 inches. So for class A's, nice and short, it's on a Ford chassis. So up on the front there, you got lots of power, Ford V10 Triton series engine. Uh, of course, that's paired nicely with a six-speed automatic torque shift transmission. Moving along the driver's side of the coach here, we can see we've got our propane setup. And this is kind of cool. You've got removable tanks here, so you come standard with a couple tanks there. You have the real estate behind it if you wanted to add up to four. So you could do between two and four. Uh, removable tanks run them to the store and just have them swap you out for fresh ones if you don't want to wait for them to fill them or just disconnect out at the campsite drive it in get a refill and just bring it back out to the coach how cool is that just past that we're going to have a bunch of nice pass-through storage areas so you get a fixed rail with pass-through storage moving over your chassis there so you get a couple pass-through compartments there and then just towards the back of the coach there is our utility center. We've got our fresh water hookups, our cable and satellite inputs there. And then our dump station, nice, elevated, easy to get to. Got a pass through underneath to get to everything, keep it nice and clean. Um, Winnebago makes all their own holding tanks. So they kind of cater the tank size to the coach to really maximize carrying capacity on all their coaches. That's kind of a neat thing about Winnebago. Right in the back here, we've got a 4,000 watt Onan gas generator. So if you are doing a little more dry camping, you're not plugged in at the campsite, it's gonna be self-sufficient for power. Of course, we got a nice ladder here so we can climb up and check our surroundings, check out our roof, make sure we're not gonna run into any lower hanging tree branches when we pull into the campsite. That's always handy to be able to see what you're about to knock the roof AC off with. Don't want to do that. Uh, rear fuel fill. It's kind of handy. Pull into the gas station. You don't have to do donuts in the parking lot trying to figure out which side to fill on. It's on the back there so you just pull through from either side. Should be able to reach you with the uh, nozzle there. 5,000 pound hitch on the back here if you want to do a little bit of towing. Feel free, bring a chaser car with you. Now this is pretty cool right here. Your Intent Series, you got this big door. What could this be? Any guesses? No spoilers. It's pretty cool. It's an outside kitchen. How cool is that? So, you know, the best thing about RVing and getting to the campsite is hanging out outside, enjoying being outside. And you can't have that much fun outside unless you got an outside kitchen, right? You got a TV built in, nice fridge for all the sodas, pops you want to bring with you, uh, sink built in. You've got a little bottle opener right there for Coca-Cola's or, or something, I assume. You got a little pull out if you need a little extra prep space. Very functional little area right here. And the door, you'll notice, I didn't really have to do anything to lock that up. Just magnet attaches right to the side of the coach there. That's pretty handy. We got a couple storage compartments on this side that are on the other side of our pass-through storage area there. And how handy is this? This is a nice touch from Winnebago. They give you the little pet pal right by the door. Bring the dogs with you. Tether their leashes up right there on the patio. You can hang out with the dogs. You don't have to worry about them running off into nature chasing those squirrels. We don't want them doing that. Nice big uh, awning on our patio to enjoy being outside while we're using our outside kitchen or hanging out with the doggies or whoever, grandkids, friends. Power step comes in and out with the uh, opening and closing of the door. Of course, you can lock that out when you're at the campsite so you don't have to wait for it to go in and out. It's got a little nice non-skid uh, tape on there too so we're not slipping if it's getting a little wet outside and you're running into your coach. We don't want you tripping and falling. Uh, nice looking coach on the outside. Let's take a look at the inside. So here we are inside the intent and uh, the front is pretty cool. Uh, we should go over some things up here. So again, you're on a Ford 
You got these nice, big, comfortable captain's chairs. They are swivel based, so you can turn these around and enjoy hanging out with company in the house here. Uh, of course, they're going to make the longer road trips getting out there a little bit more enjoyable. Very comfortable. Um, armrests on both sides. One of the best things about being in a Class A is just enjoying the trip there. You got this beautiful, big picture window in front of you and these big, really comfortable captain's chairs to just enjoy yourself on the trip. Uh, to me, that's, that's a big thing in, when it comes to looking at Class A's. Um, on the center here, this is kind of handy. Your Pioneer display, it's going to monitor your uh, cameras and, and radio and any navigation functions, Bluetooth and what have you, is on a little swivel so you can face it towards the driver or the passenger depending on who is doing what on there. Maybe your navigator is sitting over on this side and they want to enter some navigation and then point it back at the driver so they can check out the map. That's kind of cool. Um, right above me we have a drop down bunk bed overhead. How cool is that? That is a power function. So in that the center of that coach and the, the one area the uh, control panel you've got a uh, lockable control switch to bring that bed down. You hook in uh, a little ladder to climb up into the bunk. So if you've got uh, kiddos, grandkids, company coming with you, that's kind of a cool extra sleep space for them. We've got couch on this side, two belted passenger seats here. This is going to jackknife out. So you could turn this into a sleep space as well for somebody that's a little bit shorter. A couple cup holders hidden behind that. And then we have our nice booth dinette area for dining just behind that. You got some belted passenger seats here too. Of course your tabletop will drop down and cushion scoot in if you want to make that a sleep space as well. On the opposite side of our living room is our kitchen. We've got a nice amount of counter space in this model. Lots of open room there. Prep area getting stuff ready to cook on our three burner stove top here. We've got a propane RV oven below that. A little high point microwave on top of that. Lots of built in storage. Nice deep drawers. Look how far those come out. You can really pack a lot in there. Of course, everywhere overhead. Lots and lots of storage space there. Winnebago. Cool thing about them, they put these little stickers on all their doors, on all their seat cushions. They make all their own furniture. Um, if you ever need to replace, this panel door, maybe you scratch it up a little bit on uh, one of those camping trips. You just take the sticker there, call Winnebago, give them that secret, super secret code, uh, and they can get your replacement part. How cool is that? Built-in backsplash in our cooking area. And then we got a nice two-door fridge freezer set up here. So we're not under any pressure to leave the food at home. We've got lots of space there. Nice pantry area just past that. A little bit of storage overhead as well. Control panel all centered in one area. Of course we have our uh, Magnum inverter controls right there. You do have a thousand watt inverter for Magnum there. Uh, we have two slide outs on this model. So we got slide out controls there, control for that power bed, and then all our tank monitor systems and generator functions right there. We have a split bath. So we've got a shower on one side of the aisle. We've got toilet, sink, vanity area on the other. If you come this way, you can actually sneak a look in both of those there. It'll give you a nice amount of space in both areas, having that split set up. Just have a little bit more real estate for using both areas there. Nice high shower, about 5'10", and I could definitely have another growth spurt, which I don't think is going to happen. But I could have one, and I'd still safely be able to take a shower in the intent. Back in the bedroom here, we got a nice walk around queen bed built into our slide out. We've got power outlets and uh, USB ports on both sides of the bed, a little bit of storage overhead. Uh, TV built in right across from our bed area, so we do have entertainment center back here as well. Nice counter space here for getting ready for the day. Maybe plugging in a little laptop, have a little workstation there. And then of course we got a nice big wardrobe and clothes storage in the back here. It's a really cool coach. Again, it's a brand new coach from Winnebago. This is their 2018 Intent. This is the 30R model. 
Uh, I'd love to answer more questions on it or show it to you in person. Just remember to ask for Austin when you call or come out to see it. Thanks so much.